I'd like to talk to you about a trouble shot that happens around the greens every once in a while. Ironically, at this year's uh, PJ Championship in Baltus Roll, I got, was fortunate enough to play in it. This happened to me, and knowing this shot actually saved me a shot. We're going to pretend this is a tree. This is a trouble shot that would happen if my ball were to go up against a tree around the green. There's a few options here. Some of the players that I would see on tour would play it this way. The only reason I don't like this technique is you can't see your target, you can't see the golf ball real easily. It's not a bad technique, but I encourage you to try the upside down technique. So what I'll do is I'll actually play this left-handed. The club, if you flip it upside down, is not a bad left-handed golf club. It takes a little bit of practice, and I'm gonna give you a couple of the ideas that you need to master in order to be successful with this. A lot of my students that I teach this, particularly my better players, when they first learn this, for my right-handed golfers, I'm gonna talk right-handed golfers, left-handers, I want you just to switch it around, uh, the hands and the direction. My right-handed golfers, once they switch to left-handed, they will keep their grip the same. I would encourage you to make a grip change, an actual left-handed golf grip. Another error that I see my better players do whenever they're learning this shot is they'll keep their weight on their left foot, which is what they've trained their chipping stroke to be. In this case, you gotta move your foot or your weight over to your right foot. Uh, lastly, a lot of my players, whenever they're learning this, they have taught themselves to have the ball back by their right foot, slightly behind center so that they can hit down on it. In this case, you actually want the ball back by your left foot with your weight forward so you'll hit down on this. So there's a couple of adjustments that need to be made. You're really just thinking of yourself as a left-handed golfer. Once you make these adjustments, if you set the ball back by your left foot, lean your weight a little bit forward, and use a left-handed stroke, with just a little bit of practice, you should be able to get the ball to at least get out from behind the tree and get it up on the green. Maybe you don't make your par, but at least you don't sit here and hit a couple shots trying to get it out from behind the tree. With just a little bit of practice, thinking of those three concepts, ball position back, weight on your right foot, and switch around to a left-handed grip, I think you can find, if you get up against a tree, you can get it out of trouble.